Hey y'all and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. Today I have for you what I'm calling the lazy girl leg workout. Because sometimes you feel like doing a little bit, but not too much, like you don't want to get too sweaty. You can literally do this workout laying in the floor watching TV. You don't need any equipment except you and your own legs on the floor. If you're new to the channel, here is where you will find fun, functional fitness routines using some of my favorite methods. Today's workout is a little bit Pilates based with some of my own stuff thrown in. We're gonna have, I don't know, six or seven minutes of moves. I've got 30 seconds each move. I'll demonstrate for you and then I'll punch my timer and we'll go through it so that you can do this with me in real time. Let's get to the moves. So we're gonna start with seated leg lifts. So yeah, for one minute you don't get to lay down yet, but just hang with me, okay. So it looks like this, right leg tucked in, left leg out. Let's take 30 seconds, little lifts, point the toe right here. And trust me, 30 seconds is all <laughs> that you need per leg on this. Squeeze right here, we're almost there, about 10 more seconds. And three, and two, and one, pull that in. It should feel really nice to pull that in. And we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Start your 30 second clock right here. So try, try, try to keep your chest forward, your weight shifted forward here. It can be really easy to lean back. And that takes some of the work out of your quads into your abs. You know, save that ab work for other videos. Point the toe and breathe. We only have five seconds left. Look, I talked the almost whole 30 seconds. Perfect, we're gonna pull that leg in, give it just that little stretch that the other side got and flip onto your left side. So right leg is gonna go out. We're gonna do what I call a bicycle sweep. So you're gonna bicycle forward, sweep up. Bicycle forward, sweep up. Let's start your time right now. Bicycle forward, sweep up. See how I messed that up? There forward, point the toe, out, and up. So this is a little bit of brain work, actually, to get it right. Squeeze, lift, we're almost there. And then from here, not much demonstration needed, you're just going straight up. 30 more seconds. So you're driving everything out through that toe. If you've got fire in that glute, shoot it out right here. Play around with your speed and your tempo. If you want to, just keep the work down here in the leg. Keep it lifted for three two and one. We're gonna fold that leg in the top, right heel down, switching to the work on the other leg. Here's 30 seconds on adductor lifts. So my left leg is flexed, squeezing up right here. So you're gonna get the work on this move on the lowering down, not necessarily the lifting up. Lowering down is where you should feel that inner thigh engage. One more, perfect. Fold both legs in, we're still on this side. And we're gonna open into little clam lifts. So your heels are together, heels, your heels are together, your toes are turned out, and knees are opening, okay? So try and get 90 degrees. Right here. And you should feel this right here right here okay we've got about eight seconds left on this move and then we're going to switch and do all the work on your other side that's time right there we're going to transition sides moving it over right side is going down starting at the beginning if you'll remember with that bicycle sweep and the lift got it 
sweep, lift. Let's start the clock. Sweep and lift. And lift. Perfect. Do you feel cool doing this? I feel so fancy. <laughs> Just me? Okay. All right, last one. And then lifts, right? Not much demonstration. We're already on the 30 second clock right here. Point that toe. You've got a lot of fire here in your hamstring and your hip. Quads are working too on the front pull. You have about four seconds. Perfect. Last one. Let's pull that leg in. So you're pulling the left heel in, right heel out. This is that adductor lift. Remember what that looks like with the flex right heel. Let's start your 30 seconds right here. So remember it's on the lowering down. Try and keep the hips forward. I had rocked back just a little bit. I caught myself though, I pulled it forward. Keep lifting for three, for two, and one. Perfect. We're gonna pull those heels in. Here comes your clam lift on this side. Find your 90 degrees. We're gonna get the work right here by opening the knees. Heels together, toes turned out. Ready for 30 here? We are. Now I'm using a Gym Boss timer. I've used one of these Gym Boss Mini Max timers, I don't know, for four or five years. They're super easy to use, functional, versatile. I'll leave a link to where you can find one of those in the description for this video. We got like three seconds. It's burning. Perfect. One more. Awesome. We're going to take that back over onto our back and we're going to pull up the heels. This is lying V position. Okay. Heels together here. Knees open from the hips sort of like a Y. And I want you to squeeze the knees together. Open out. 30 seconds right here. Squeeze and out. Squeeze and out. So you should kind of be finding your heel bones when you bring your knees. Your knees actually are not going to touch. You're going to get this fire right here in the inner thighs. Holy smokes. If you can tell by my breathing, the title for this workout has now become misleading. One more. Awesome. Pull those. Rock it on up. This is why people don't dress trainers. It'll be easy, they said. You won't work that hard, they said. But seriously though, this workout stands alone as a way to target all the major muscle groups in your legs. Or you can add this to one of my other videos, like one of the abs with bender balls for a totally on the mat, total body burn. So if you like this workout, go ahead and give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can join me here for class more often.